Hi, so today I'm going to show you another little quick thrift books haul. I am going to separate it into two videos because I got some beautiful Tasha Tudor books and so I'll do a separate video for that. So I'm just going to do it for these three. Although it was all in the same order. <laughs> so anyway, um, go first to the circus books. I, As I've said before, I am a lifelong fan of the circus. My family and I went to the Ringling Circus every single year when I was a child all the way up until I was almost a teenager. And then I even went a few times as a teenager with my friends. And it is so ironic and so cool that... I ended up in Baraboo, which is the birthplace of the Ringling Brothers, and it's literally called the Circus Town. Circus is so important here, and it's just amazing to have so much history all around me. Anyway, so I have a fascination with circus. A lot of Romani gypsy people have circus in our, literally in our families and on our bloodlines. I could do a whole separate video about that, but for right now, let's just get into the books. Uh, first up is this paperback copy that is literally brand new. I mean, it is absolutely pristinely brand new. And it is a novel by Kathy Day, The Circus in Winter, but it is very much based on real people, real stories, and uh, the Ringling Brothers Circus used to winter in Sarasota, Florida. So that's kind of the gist of this. Uh... I'll read the back. It says, from 1884 to 1939, the Great Porter Circus makes the unlikely choice to winter in an Indiana town called Lima. So this is like uh, a different kind of story. Instead of being in Florida, they're going to stay in Indiana in the winter, which is an unlikely choice. But anyway, uh, it says here, meeting an elephant can change a man's life or the manner of his death. Uh, the lonely wife of a show's manager has each room of her house painted like a sideshow banner, indulging her desperate passion for the young painter. A former clown trapped in a loveless marriage seeks consolation from his post-circus job at Clown Alley Cleaners. In Lima, legend and lore outlive the circus itself, luring contemporary inhabitants to faraway places in search of the adventure that has moved on. I am excited to read this. Even though it's fiction, I still absolutely love circus stories. And there are, um, let's try to find this again. It looks like photographs as part of the art in there. Really cool. So that's that. And then this is a book that I have wanted for a really long time. The Queen of the Air. And it's about... Literally, she was, that was her name. She was Lillian Lietzel. And I encourage you to read about her because she was absolutely fascinating. And I've been wanting this book forever. And it's hardbound. It's beautiful. It's in really good shape. As you can see under the dust jacket, it just looks brand new. And, but it's not brand new because somebody had wrote this in here for Gemma and Steph in 2013. So, and choreography, so somebody gifted this book, and I am privileged to have it now. And the whole thing has historical references, beautiful real photographs of her and her husband. They were an amazing love story. So, also super excited to read that. And then this one... I thought was going to be a poetry book of Walter de la Mer, but it, it turned out it's not. It's a very beautiful, very beautiful hardbound book with gold on it. But it has lots of other stories in it. And some beautiful art as well. Fairy tales and little stories. And I love this art style and these particular illustrators that are in it. So it's going to be a good read. I was looking for the, the date on it. And it says copyright 1958-1960. So I'm assuming that it is one of those years. It's in excellent condition though. 
I cannot highly recommend the thrift books enough. I just think they're absolutely wonderful. I am not sponsored by them, but I would not mind being so in the future. I love that you can get books that you that are rare, hard to find, and they tell you what condition they're in, and it's just a steal. And if you want to get rid of some books on your bookshelf, as I did, I turned in old books that I didn't want anymore for these books. So they offer they also offer that where you can ship back your books to them and they'll give you a price for them and they even print you the shipping label you put them all in a box and gives you credit to get new books. So thank you so much for watching and I will be back to show you the Tasha Tudor books in a separate video. Take care.